Hey friends, this is an element subjected to a plane state of stress system. In this lecture, what I'll try to basically do is convert this plane state of stress system to a biaxial state of stress system and represent that by a Mohr circle state of stress. Right, let us proceed. If I have this state of stress, I have sigma n to be equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta minus tau xy sin 2 theta and tau n to be equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 theta plus tau xy cos 2 theta. Now we have this value of sigma n and we have this value of tau n. Now essentially this is a this is a plane state of stress system. If we have to convert this to a biaxial state of stress system, what we got to do is basically put this shear stress defined by tau xy to be equal to zero. A biaxial state of stress system is some kind of a thing like this wherein normal stress will act along x-axis and y-axis and the body will only be subjected to normal stress across its perpendicular axis. So this becomes a biaxial state of stress system when tau xy is equal to zero. And if we put tau xy is equal to zero, then automatically this term and this term vanishes. So essentially I'm left with sigma n and tau n. Now, sigma n minus, this is sigma average. If we square it up, and this will be equal to sigma x minus sigma y by two whole square cos square to theta and if I tau this tau n whole square will be equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square sin square to theta. If we add this two up we have some kind of a thing like sigma n minus sigma average <coughs> whole square plus tau n whole square is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square. Now, as is very evident that this represents the equation of a circle with center at sigma average and zero and the radius to be equal to this, that is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by two. <coughs> now, let us see whether we can represent this thing with a more circle. If this is my axis. This is sigma n and this is tau n. And what I will do basically is first I will represent the x plane and that will be defined by sigma x. For example, this point represents sigma x and this point supposed to represent sigma y. Next, what I'm going to do is I know that the difference between the angle of this x and y plane is 90 degree. So basically, the planes are orthogonal. So this will be 180 degree, obviously and I will find the center of this. Right. Now taking this as the center and this as radius, I will draw a circle that will be effectively like this. <clears throat> and this Mohr circle basically gives me the different values of sigma tau n and sigma n for different values of theta. Right. Now essentially, sigma n will have its maximum and minimum value that is the principal stresses when the shear stress will be equal to zero and tau n is equal to zero at here and here and sigma x is this point and sigma y is this point. So these two points represent the value of principal stresses, right? So sigma x and sigma y are the magnitude of are the principal stresses and sigma x supposes the maximum value and sigma y is the minimum value. Now we got to find also the maximum value of tau n which is essentially nothing but this. Right. And this is nothing but the radius. Right. And what is the radius? That is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2. So tau n will have its maximum value at theta is equal to 45 degree with respect to the principal plane and tau n max will be equal to half of the principal difference of the principal stresses. 
So if we have a biaxial state of stress system, if you have a body that is subjected to a biaxial state of stress system like this, then this two, this, 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 these are my principal planes. The X and Y plane are my principal planes. And the maximum value of shear stress will occur at a plane which is at an angle of 45 degree with respect to that this principal plane and this is essentially this so this will be 45 degree and in this plane there will be the maximum value of shear stress so this is all for biaxial state of stress system thanks a lot for listening thank you